Hi dear friends, really sorry for the late release of this video. As per many requested for MCQ points in COVID-19, um, I'm adding this video for you. Just 10 minutes video. You all will be rocking. Already you know things. Just a refreshment. And uh, COVID-19 by my point of view. Okay. So we'll uh, enter into the discussion point. So we know the COVID-19 uh, is a man as an intermediate host and uh, like uh, <coughs> camels, cats and bats predominantly is there, but man was intermediate, man was uh, not a regular host. The man acquires the infec uh, infection and but human to human transmission is being reported. <laughs> you know very well. Yeah. Uh, so it is uh, na named as SARS-CoV-2. So, um, what is the importance is um, the preventive aspects protect the eyes, nose and mouth. So, for eyes, goggle, nose and mouth, mask, all we know just a, a point. And mask, what do you want to know? What's the MC point? Triple layered mask or N95 respirator mask. So, a mask should be a fluid. First, we'll discuss about the triple layered mask and it should be a fluid resistant. And uh, for a N95 mask, very good points. It is a high filtration efficiency. I will be giving another one MCQ point in subsequent uh, slide. <coughs> high filtration efficiency. And it is a duckbill or cup shaped. Yeah, this can be asked. Duckbill or cup shaped. The mask which fits into the face. Cup, like a cup or a duckbill shaped. And regarding the gloves, gloves should be a nitrile gloves, latex-free gloves because of the latex allergy. And it resists chemicals like chlorine. It resists chlorine. The nitrile gloves it resists chlorine. And one point which you have to remember is at least a one meter distance is important. If you want to examine a COVID suspect, one meter distance is again MCQ. It's important. And remember the glove is a nitrile glove, nitrile glove. And shoe cover, when you wear a PPE, you know, the shoe cover should go up to the ankle and it is a fabric is impermeable to water. And uh, this, I feel the very important point in risk assessing the high risk patient. The high risk patient includes number one, a person, a surgeon attending a severely ill person or a, um, a person is in the ICU, a physician in ICU or a surgeon in ICU a dead body packing hospital or healthcare persons, management of a severely acute respiratory infection patient while transporting. It is not an ambulance driver. It is a, a person who manages a, um, a sorry patient while transport. Okay, they are high risk. Sample collection or transport transportation lab technician or microbiologist. Sample testing, microbiologist, yeah. Police surgeon performing autopsy, they are high risk. Remember this. Golden rule, always remember one meter distance between the patient or a suspect and, between, and you. And added a few points in glove. Glove should be at least a 280 millimeter nitrile glove, which we have seen. And it goes up to the mid forearm, mid forearm. Goggles one point indirect venting. Yeah, goggles can have indirect venting, which can decrease fog. So the problem with the goggle is fogging. So when there is a vent is there, it can prevent the fog. So regarding N95 mask, the N95 mask can be a fluid resistant, which we have discussed, and it is uh, it uh, the fluid resistance minimum 80 millimeter. When a pressure is more than 80 millimeter. The fluid resistance will not be there, it will be fluid permeable. So, up to the 80, 80 millimeter pressure, this can be a point you can remember. One or two MCQs will be a deciding factor. A triple layer mask is 99% efficiency for 3 micron particle. This, this is a very good point. The aerosol is less than 5 micron. The triple layered mask is 3 micron. It is efficiency, 99% efficiency. Coronavirus is 0.1 micron size, but aerosol, the coronavirus doesn't uh, infect a person directly. It goes through the aerosol. The aerosol is less than 5 micron. So triple layer mask itself is 19% uh, efficiency. 
N95 mask has 0.1 to 0.3 micron efficiency. So the, even the virus try to fly and enter, it won't happen. But virus generally needs aerosol for infecting from one person to the another person. Body bag, a dead person will be um, kept in a body bag, which should be opaque, white. We might have seen all those things. Leak proof, some secretion should not come out. Air proof, air sealed and it is double sealed. Leak proof, air sealed and double sealed. And it is a U shaped with zip. Many of might have seen in, uh, might have utilized this. If a person is not practicing, many of you might have seen in the videos. And 2.2 to 1.2 meters. So um, already, already, money than a kim solo. The pack on the Konya already or a person. Six feet is a thing which is needed after a death to bury a person, average Indian person. But it is uh, um, six feet is a 180 meters. It is a little bit uh, uh, bigger than that. Okay. All this pack, whatever the manufacturing, mask, or a pack, everything should be five years expiry. This is surgeon's main points. One patient, one room is important when you are hospitalized with a corona patient. For the treatment of the pain, use paracetamol. When you treat the patient for surgery, preferable to use regional anesthesia. Don't use general anesthesia. If general anesthesia is needed, only anesthetist and uh, anesthetist technician should be inside the theater. Surgeon should go outside the theater. theater. Avoid electrocautery. If at all, use, use low power and uh, spray mode should not be there. If necessary, use lo low power. I think uh, there is some mistakes. I will check this. Use low, low power. Avoid spray mode, I think. You should not use spray mode. I just check this. Avoid lap. Okay, laparoscopy should be avoided. If necessary, use smoke evacuation filters like Medagin, Megawak, Medagin, Megawak plus. And this requires ultra low particulate filtration, ultra low particulate filtration and use low pressure. Don't keep pneumoperitoneum 15, keep low pressure 8 to 10. Avoid transplant, don't do transplant. And the urologist urine is not having any virus, but still take precautions. But evidence of virus in stool, if you are a gastroenterologist, be careful, stoma, evidence of virus in stool. Yeah, few more points. Although 30% staff per week, remaining people should be under quarantine. And a person work one week, two weeks quarantine. This all being uh, done by a AIMS uh, consultant in neurology. If this article is published, okay, nobody is following. I don't think anybody is giving 30% uh, uh, working hand and two weeks quarantine. And must to remember, don, put on, doff, take off. Please remember, off, doff, doff is off, take off. Don is put on, wear it. And I always tell, remember what first to be done. Identify and gather proper PPE is the first thing you have to do. This can be when you do a donning, first thing to be identify and gather proper PPE. Okay. And the rest of the things like hand hygiene, put on gown, mask, Google glove. And, end, and the last thing is to enter the patient room. Okay, first and last remember. When you remove the takeoff, when you remove the dress, what you should do? Remove the gloves is the first thing. Remove the gloves. Then remove the gown. Then exit the patient room. Hand hygiene, remove goggle, mask. And again hand hygiene, two hand hygiene. The hand hygiene comes twice in takeoff, remember. Okay, MCQ. And PPE is disposed in a red plastic. One PPE is a single time use, disposed in a red plastic bag. After that, you spray with 1% hypochlorite solution and you label as hazmat. PPE is used, hazmat label should be there. Onco surgeons, uh, what they have to do, they categorize the people into low, intermediate, high risk. So, high risk surgery is done. Uh, in low risk, six to eight weeks postponement can be done. Intermediate risk duration is not given, for example, chemotherapy. But in general, surgery during pandemic for general surgeons, they are categorized into five. Emergency, urgent, urgent elective, elective essential, and the essential. 
emergency less than 1 hour like ectopic rupture or stab injury abdomen urgent surgery less than 24 hours appendicitis urgent elective like two weeks you can plan <coughs> elective essential more than three months essential for example uh, prostate surgeries qrp so urgent elective for, for example uh, malignancies malignancies come can come so six to um, in a onco surgery six to eight weeks is a low risk conditions but um, for example for a malignancy like uh, two weeks ct scan all those things will take so urgent elective we can post us two weeks okay so this is the one which is really painful for me to accept so emergency and the urgent surgery please do uh, procedure even without waiting for the covid test is really painful this all we have to take into the public okay so even people worried about meeting another person here as a surgeon we operate without in a covid whether the person is a covid proven or not you take a you without you take a universal precaution and without covid test you operate so take covid take without covid report but do it in covid ot okay so in operation theater what are the things to be done this i said during intubation surgeon no role go out one person hypochlorite solution to sanitize the room and when uh, between the cases one hour is one hour should be there between cases and uh, yeah this point during a covid 19 uh, the blood transfusion can be done without any hassle and uh, this is all about the surgeon point of view what is important for um, both surgeon as well as a physician the important investigations rt pcr which is uh, done which has a 70% sensitivity and positive within 5 days a person infected within 5 days rt pcr will be positive antibody spot rapid test okay which is positive in second week and 80% sensitivity second week positivity 80% sensitivity hrcd lung the specific point ground glass appearance mcq bilateral ground glass appearance if rt pcr is negative high uh, features of infection 75% hrcd will be positive this is what being given this all based on icmr and the ministry of health and family welfare report and a covid recovered patient when you will do a when you operate operate if two swabs are negative which is done one week apart and igm is negative and igg is positive so when you do a uh, swab today and uh, which is negative and next swab should be done seven days later to confirm the swab negative and last but not the least mcqs the drug which inhibit the entry of virus ac angiotensin converting enzyme is the route of entry for virus so um, in children ace is less so entry inhibitors are chloroquine plasma from con uh, convalescent plasma from recovered patient and recombinant human ace2 okay recombinant to human ace2 and baricitinib these all entry inhibitors baricitinib words a few word about ramcdivir Rem sorry ramcdivir is a rna dependent RNA polymerase inhibitor. COVID is a RNA virus. Tocilizumab, Sarilumab. They are IL. They the monoclonal antibodies against IL-6 receptor. So this are all the points which I want to share, my dear friends. All the best. You all will be doing well. Concept will be there always to help you at any time. So really sorry, I am not able to uh, give this uh, content little bit early. Uh, really sorry for that. But just done. I think this is uh, how much? Uh, uh, 14 minutes video. Just five minutes more. It happened. Kindly excuse. Just listen to the points whichever I have shared. Definitely, if you uh, listen to this once, everything you know, point, you are known point. Just for reinforcement. All the best. This is Dr. Anton Dreshkumar, founder, CEO, President, Concept, J.